This is a quick tutorial on how to make some really cool looking reflected text. Start out by making three video tracks and then put your media generator and drag up a default text onto the top one. Fill that in with what you're going to use for the text. And adjust that to the way you want it to look. Okay. Now you copy your text paste it onto the second track and create a new copy of the source media when this pop-up co appears. And now you go over here to Event Pan and Crop and the first thing you do is flip the vertical and then you see the effect here what you do is use your down arrow key to move this down until the inverted text is just below the original. Now you go down here to the mask, select your masking tool and draw a mask right halfway through your text. And then select feather type both and feather amount about 12%. Now on the third track, down here media generators, color gradient, Scroll down here and find a, uh, one of these linear gradients. I'm going to use a soft blue backdrop. Now I'm going to change the angle to 270 degrees. bring the one down here like so. The two right down there below center. Alright, for one, click the little one right there. We're going to go ahead and set some colors. I'm going to set this at about, let's see, red 31, green 222, and blue 245. And for the two, click the other one here. And for the colors on that one, Set the red to zero. Set the green to 97. And leave the blue at 255. And then use this to toggle until your little crosshair in the center is selected. And then just use your down arrow key, up and down arrow keys, to adjust the image so that the horizon you have created here, right here, shows up, is even with the middle, the join between the image and its reflection. That can be fine-tuned later on if you need to. Close that. Go 
go to Event FX and add a bump map. And you want the upper right glow. And from here you can adjust the position of it to suit. It gives the appearance of having a light source for your text. That looks good. And you can use your keyframes to animate this. Put in keyframes, animate it, and have this light source move from one side to the other, for example, if you like. I'm just going to leave it still. And now, up here and add another plug-in and this will be a Gaussian blur and the amount I'm going to use about 0 0.20 for both the horizontal and the vertical now see here the horizon line is just a little bit high so we go back in here to the generated media Select our center cursor again and use the up and down arrow keys to move the horizon line just a little bit until it's right. You can add an optional lens flare. Say for example you add a lens flare to this and then you just drag this over here so that the lens flare lines up with your light source and if you use keyframes to animate your light source you'll want to, to keyframe the same points to animate your lens flare to move with the light source and that's it nice easy reflection text